What's up, everybody? This is Jason, Zombie Collector, and I decided to do a little video for the ever-loving viewing public. Uh, I got to hang out with Sean, stealing second this past weekend. Uh, we hung out, and uh, his card shop, I believe he said, never really closed, kind of like my card shop here in Indiana, but they were, like, officially, like, officially open, I guess, this past weekend. So he was like, hey, man, you want to come up to Fort Wayne? And uh, we can hang out, of course. The name of their shop's called Sport Spot. There it is, Sport Spot. Check them out if you would like. Um, the guy who run, I guess the guy, the second in command, nice guy. I didn't catch his name, but they have a lot of cool stuff. But I do have to say, uh, you know, this is my personal opinion. The prices are extremely high. It's like back in the seventies and the eighties, back when the for, when they first. Like the comic book, uh, comic book uh, shop. I'm sorry, shows they would like double the price of the product to then say they're gonna give it for half off. So you feel like you got a deal. So all the cards you would see at the shop that were like one to five dollar range, like all day long, maybe even less, they'd be like ten to five dollars, and you get half off. So a lot of these cards should be a dollar, a few bucks, and they had it for like four. And then you get, then you get it two, and so on and so forth. So I kind of, I don't like that because it's you're you're paying more than eBay prices, and there's not much wiggle room. You go up there with a stack of cards, and they're like, uh, it's like forty five dollars, and there'll be like uh, forty three, you know, and stuff like that. It just, it is what it is. You know, you run your business how you want, but they're the only game in town, so you're going to be able, you're going to have to pay those prices if you want to go to a card shop. You're going to have to pay those prices. You have to wait to go to shows or, you know, eBay. But if you want something right then and there, you're going to have to go there. And like I said, I mean, it was fine, but everything was super expensive. And maybe I'm just maybe I'm just spoiled. That might have been the way I should start it out because the car shops in my neck of the woods, they're all about deals, man. They're all about helping out the customer. They want to build that good rapport so you keep coming back. But, again, they have more competition. In Fort Wayne, there's nobody there. So they can just say, this is what we're going to charge you. You can be like – all right, I can't do it. They're like, oh, well, sorry about you. Have a nice day. And that's fine. That's their business model. But uh, like I said, I found some cards. I, I got everything you're going to see here I got for 20 bucks. So I think I did okay. So I'll show you what I received, and you can tell me what you think. Uh, first up is a Duke Snyder. Uh, I think this is from Don Russ. I want to say like 85, I believe, Don Russ. Maybe. Maybe 84, but you got Duke Snyder. This is going to be Brooklyn Dodger Heavy. I never seen this before. Carl Erskine from Panini, and uh, here in Anderson, Indiana. So picked up a Carl Erskine. This is a cool Duke Snyder insert card with Andre Ethier. Did not have that card, so picked that up. And then I picked up a Jackie Robinson rookie card. Just got it in a penny sleeve. Um, you know, I got the. I mean, got this for a quarter. All these cards were a quarter. Um, so there you go. But, I mean, I couldn't believe I got this for a quarter. So, I mean, I really was kind of complaining at the beginning. If I get a Jackie Robinson rookie card, I'll be your Huckleberry. Then we got a Gil Hodges, um, Fleer uh, Fall Classic, yeah, right here. Did not have this. Gil Hodges, uh, as you can see right there, he was born in Indiana. He's one of my Indiana guys I like to collect. Princeton, I went to college right outside of Princeton. They got Campy right here. It's a good-looking card. Love that card. So I was really happy that they had a lot of Brooklyn Dodgers cards for a quarter for, like, all the, you know, modern-day stuff. It was kind of cool. We got Duke Snyder on this one. This is, like, 87, right? Is that what this is? Yeah, 87 right here. So that was a cool one to get. Uh, the, the Lord of Flatbush. You got another Roy Campanella. Some of these cards I'd never seen before, so I was happy to get them. Got the Roy Campanella. Then I got a then I got a Hideki Matsui card for a quarter, and this is like a like a whole set. I think there's like maybe thirty or forty cards in this set. And I'm not for sure if I had this one or not, but for a quarter, I'll get it. I don't want to I don't want to try to spend all day looking it up. Here's another Roy, here's another Matsui. I I have a lot of cards that look like this, but I don't know if I have the Matsui, so I decided I picked this one up. And this is like I think the this is second year card, I believe, third year card. So it's kind of cool. 
Now this I had never. Uh, I don't know if I see this. this. Is a Ted Williams from the card set there, but it's a Roy Campanella. I like the way it looks with the sepia colors. So there you have that. So there you go. This is a cool one here. I like this one a lot. The Duke Snyder Mini from Tops. I forgot what this is. It has a, it's like KG. What is it called? Like Kid, Kid, like Kidwell, Kidman, Kidman cards. I can't remember what what it was. Like Champions of the Game and Sport, Games and Sports. But anyway, so there you have that Duke Snyder. And this is a Fleer Greats of the Game, Roy Campanella. So pretty, I pretty much bought all their Brooklyn Dodger um, modern day cards, unless they were ones I already had. Uh, their prices, like I said, you know, like I said, these are all quarter a piece. And Duke Snyder, another one of those cards I did not have. So there's the Duke Snyder. And then I have another Duke Snyder, like Duke Snyder Heavy from Allen and Ginter. That's a good one there. And then here's, I never even knew this is Donra Studio 2004. But this is a cool one here of Duke Snyder. From from Stu, Donra Studio, who knew who knew this card even existed? Maybe you did. Maybe you did out there in uh, TV land. And this is a cool one. This is like had a uh, perfiated edges, so it was like it was like uh, pulled out of something. But it's Gil Hodges, baseball's greatest sluggers. So there you go. That's a great looking card. And then I picked up a Pee Wee Reese. Of the uh, Diamond Kings from Panini from 2018 or 19. So I don't know if I had this card or not. But I'm almost positive I didn't have this one. This is a Jackie Roosevelt Robinson. So there's those. Then I had a few others I picked up here. I got a, a K. Igawa autograph card. They had a box of autographs and relic cards for, I think, $3.00. So all those cards were a quarter you just show. This one was a was this was three dollars. And again, I you know, this card's probably a dollar, maybe two most places, but like I get on eBay, I could probably buy this card for a dollar or two, but then it's three or four dollars in shipping. So I could pay three dollars. The card's in pretty good shape. You know, the autograph's good. It is a sticker autograph, but you know, it is what it is. I you know for like I said, three dollars I'll do that. And then for worlds and then for um a Rookie of the Year relic card of uh, Kazuhiro Sasaki. I don't know if I have this relic card, but I almost always pick up relic cards of all the Japanese guys, no matter if I have them or not, if they're only a couple bucks. This also was $3. This was this 2002. So this, I believe he came into the league in 2001 as well. So so this is a second-year card, if I'm not mistaken, of Sasaki. And then I have a couple. This card here. All the prices on these are half off, so this was actually a dollar. So I got this Jackie Robinson with Matt Kemp. So there's that card here. I did not. I didn't. I don't think I owned this. This is a nice looking card, so I was like, yeah, I'll I'll pull the trigger on that. And then I had a couple really cool ones here. This again is was just a dollar. There's the um, tops insert card of Roy Campanella. So there you, there you have that one. And I don't think I showed the first one. That's what the back looks like on these cards. I just like the way they look. There's a lot going on here. Um, I just really like it a lot. It's a good-looking card. It's for a dollar. Yep, I'll do it. And then this, uh, both of these cards are from Top 206. And let's see there. Are they from the same? This is from 2010. So there you have this one right here. Tops 206, um, many of Jackie with baseball, baseball car, uh, caramels or caramels. I guess it depends. Like where I live, there's a place called Carmel, Indiana. But if you're not from here, lots of people call it caramel or caramel. But I guess, and then like, you know, when you go to a store, like, you know, like a candy shop, I think almost everybody says, uh, I want caramels. But you hear a lot of people say caramels, I guess, too. I guess it might be a regional thing. I always say caramel. When I talk about the food, I say caramel when it comes to the city here in Indiana. So how do you pronounce it? Caramel? Caramel? So how do you do that? So there's that one. And then the last one here, and that one was $2 because it was $4. This is a 
This one was three dollars. This is from two thousand and nine. Um, short. I don't know if it's a short print, but a uh, there's the back of it. Piedmont back from the top two hundred six. I don't know if this is a short print with the Piedmont back. It's almost like I feel like I yelled at you all. Sorry, Piedmont back. So there's that one. Well, that's a good. I just like this card. He's like he's smiling, like he just. Like, just swung for the fence. He's like, how you like him apples? You like apples? How you like him apples? But I really like that car. That car looks great. And then I have the 19, I think this is 1961 Don Newcomb. So I got this car for $2. All-star card. I believe it's all-star, right? Or national or most valuable player, sorry. But, you know, for a 1961 car, it looks great. There's like a little crease right here. And it's pretty significant if you can see it. It's maybe the back you can see a little bit better. It's a crease there. But I mean, the card's, you know, um, 60 years old. And get it for getting it for two dollars, sure. I'll do that. And get it for my personal collection. This is the kind of card I like to get graded, even though it might come back as like, I don't know, a two. Maybe if I'm lucky. Um, but you know, maybe it maybe it'll come back as I don't know, one. I don't, who knows? And this right here, this was uh, $4. It's half off the, t the sticker price. And it's um, I don't, it's kind of a miscut, I guess you can call it. It looks pretty good, but it's, you know, you'll see. But it's a, a 1958 uh, Don Newcomb. So I'm super proud of this card to find this. Aside from it being, you know, really off center, I always say miscut because if you look on the back, you can kind of see. There's the start of another card over here, and this one's cut, obviously, really short on this side. But other than that, the card looks really good. I mean, I think his colors are good. Mr. Newcomb, you know, his uniform, his face, his arm, all that looks good. The hat, there's no, like, whiting or whatever you people call it. Like, it's not like it has a, a bad quality of the picture. It's really bright and all that, and for $4... I think it was four, yeah, for four dollars. It's a good deal. I'll take it. So a lot of these guys, I mean, I know it's just Los Angeles Dodgers, but I mean, I liked it from back in the day. Uh, because you know, Don Newcomb, you know, great ball player. Kind of overshadowed, I feel like he's kind of like the Frank Robinson of uh pitchers. Like such a great pitcher, but you don't hear a lot about him. He just passed away, I think, last year. So there you guys go. I got that whole stack for twenty dollars. If you're in the Fort Wayne area, do you want to stop by Sports Spot? Tell, tell them, uh, don't tell my sense. You tell them Sean's sense. You're stealing second because he needs all the help he can get over there. Uh, he's, and when we were there, oh, I got to tell you this cool story. I don't, know if he'll, I don't know if Sean will say it. So there's another guy named Sean who goes to the same store. And this guy, he right before we got there, there was a box of 2019-2020, uh, uh, I don't know, some like Panini product. And I don't know if it's Panini, but um, – basketball product and it's a high end stuff, whatever it is, but it were like they're like twenty bucks a pack. So whatever it is, it's hobby of course. No, it's retail. It was retail, but you know everybody's about the Zion Williams. It was uh, a retail box and they were twenty dollars a pack. And this other guy named Sean who apparently is a, a big wheeler and a dealer at the shop, spends a lot of money. He has lots and lots of stuff he buys and, and breaks or whatnot. He buys those he buys the last handful of packs. And while he's in there he decides to crack the packs open. He pulls like some autographed Zion Williams card right then. There's like a fifteen hundred dollar card. He pulls out of the pack, and of course, everybody like losing their losing their minds, and it's like the talk of the town. So, you know, that was kind of a cool experience. I did. We didn't watch it actually when it happened, but for like the fifteen minutes after we got there, that was like the that was like the whole thing people were talking about. So that was that was kind of cool to hear hear that. It's always cool to see somebody pull a big card or or hear about it because those are the things that keep keep people coming back and hoping there's going to be them. It's like when a when you're at a, a casino and somebody, one of the machines goes off for like, you know, a big winner and they like all the money comes flying out or all the coins or whatever. And the arms are going off. Everybody's oh my gosh. And they get over by those machines because they want to get lucky too. So all of a sudden all these machines that were empty have people full of them now because they're like, oh, this, this area must be hot. Like this is where all the hot winnings are going on here. So it's always interesting because when you said one person cracks a pack and they hit this monster card, then everybody starts buying packs and boxes thinking they're going to hit the same luck. So it's kind of addictive when it comes to that. But 
anyways, hope you all enjoyed the cars. Let me know what you think, how you think I did. Do you think I did okay for 20 bucks? Do you think, and I wasn't, uh, I wouldn't have done it for that. You feel like what were your, some of your favorite cars? Just let me know what you think. I appreciate it. And until next time, peace.